Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So in today's video, I'll be rounding off all my iHeart Revolution palettes that I brought in 2020. And I'm gonna be ranking them from my favorite to my least favorite. Yes. So all together, I've got 12 palettes that I've picked out. They're not my entire iHeart Revolution collection. Um, I've got a lot more palettes than this. I was actually gonna declutter two palettes in this pile I picked out. And I'm so glad I didn't now because I must have been mad. Does anyone else have like a moment where they look at their makeup collection and they're gonna declutter something and then they go back to it and just go back and forth, back and forth all the time because that is me. So I'm gonna start with my least. Yeah, let's do that. So if this is the type of video you like to watch then make sure you hit subscribe. I do do a lot of iHeart Revolution videos because that's my entire majority of my collection yeah if you're a new return subscriber thank you so much for coming by again and yeah without further ado let's get into the video okay so i'm just gonna go with my least favorite but it is a good palette for what it is it's just me being me so this is the avocado palette this is one of the palettes i was going to declutter but then my boyfriend came in and he was like messing with my decision and saying yeah but do you actually have a green palette and then he made me realize, no, I don't have a green palette. This is my only green palette, like only green palette specified for green. As he was right, I don't have a lot of greens in my collection, but there's a reason for that. I don't really enjoy green particularly on my eyes, but I do like a green shimmer on the lid. I don't think I like a bright green in the crease, but I can get away with having a dark green in the crease, yeah. You know what, it's not all greens in here. We do have some browns and golds, which are really nice in this palette. The formula of the Tasty range is really good, actually. I want to like this because it is a good palette for what it is. It's just, I don't wear a lot of greens. I need to branch out and wear more greens. Yeah, that's what I need to do. That'll be my 2021 goal. So yeah, I've put avocado the least. I want to do another video on that though, so I've done a video on every single palette here by the way, so I will try and link it down below. The one after that I put Marble Rose Gold. I do keep the boxes and some of them. I put this in this position because most of this palette is shimmers. I do wish there was a full matte. Um, however, you could use the shimmers in this palette as a matte. It's like, it's weird. It's a matte and shimmer at the same time so i bet this palette you could pass away with using these as mattes i really like the color scheme in this i think they chose really nice colors put together i really enjoyed playing this palette i need to play with this palette more there's a lot of palettes i need to play with more but just but it's kind of difficult when your collection is so big so i really need to knuckle down and rotate stuff okay the next palette i put down is latte this is a really cute palette. I like this. They've also got a mini version of this as well. This is what it looks like. I really like the purples in this and I like that pop of grey at the bottom. Cool tone. It's quite a cool tone. The one after that is I've put down white gold. This is a really nice palette. You could put this in your everyday glam wear. I really like the gold in this and I like the purple. It's got nice shimmers in here. It's got a good matte as well. And I actually bought the black pearl with this. The one after that is Sour Cherry. I really like the brights in here. I don't know why, but this colour scheme reminds me kind of like Halloween-y, clowny vibes. So that's Sour Cherry. And the one I've put after that is the black pearl. I really like black pearl. I didn't really hear much about these palettes though. This is the mini one and yeah, you can make a really gorgeous smoky eye with this. And uh, The silver in here is impeccable. I mentioned this in my 2020 ranking video. Very nice, very nice indeed. So the one I've put after Black Pearl is their most recent huge one. It's got a 40 eyeshadow shades in here. This is the Total Heartbreakers. I prefer the black in Black Pearl than the black in this. It's a bit wishy-washy, the black in this. Um, yeah. I really like the variety of selection they've put in this palette. I'm happy they brought a big palette in everyday use. I really do like big palettes where they have everyday colors 
because it is such a big palette and you want to use it. So the gold in here is beautiful. Some of the shimmers. Oh my god. Very pretty. Terrible swatch. <laughs> but you get what I mean. Beautiful mattes in here. My favourite matte has got to be this one at the top corner. This brown. And I really like the pink on the top row as well. Such a pretty palette. Uh, so this was actually in my decisions of decluttering. What is wrong with me? I absolutely love this palette. Why did I think I wanted to declutter this? I really like this palette now. Perispan shade is beautiful. I love the pinks and purples in here. Such a pinky purple peachy palette. So if that's your taste, I'd get the Tasty Peach. The favourite shade in this palette is Princess Shade, which is that. Those two shades together are really nice. Okay, so I'm going on to my top fourth. And it is the Ginger and Nut. Ginger and Nut. I got this in my Chocoholic gift set. Oh, this is beautiful for every day. And I really like this. So let me just do some finger swatches. There we go. Unfortunately, you can't get this separately at the minute. You have to get the Chocoholic gift set. I'm hoping they're bringing these out separately because oh, the quality of the shimmers are so soft and yeah, they really show up for who pigmented, very nice. Okay, so the one after that, I've put down the Custard Fill. Beautiful palette. Um, yeah, I recently done a video on this such a lovely palette it is an all shimmer palette but you can definitely you can definitely use this color in the crease and smoke it out you can really do an eye look with all these colors love it i've got a feeling lizzie would love this palette if she hasn't got it already um lizzie don't make me try pronounce your last name dimitra so sorry second place is a berry and meringue oh my god this is gorgeous um palette this is my second favorite pink palette my all-time favorite pink palette is the miss piggy miss piggy by ciate really sorry going off the bandwagon here but this is my favorite pink palette ciate miss piggy 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 this is my favorite pink palette it's not perfect but it's my favorite oh, you know what this could be my favorite oh my god decisions decisions the pink in here this hot pink Amazing. You know what? Let me compare this hot pink with Miss Piggy. And this is Miss Piggy. Okay, so yeah, Miss Piggy is very much brighter. So I, I should think so because CRA London is a luxury brand. So that's why I've put Miss Piggy in front of Baby Moran. But, but, but for a drugstore palette, my favourite drugstore pink palette this has to be. It's my collection drugstore. Is I have revolution anyway, so I haven't really got much choice. Um, yeah, love it. And the matte darks in here are very nice as well for a smoky pinky look. And my top, which I'm wearing on my eyes today, is the party Gucci's. Honestly, the formula in this is just really good. Don't get me wrong. My technique is not the best at eyeshadow. Definitely not. But this palette is quite hard to open. Such a cute cover. I actually really like using this palette in combination with other palettes. For example, I like using it with the white gold. This palette, ah, oh, I love the cool tone of it. My favourite type, I just love cool tone shades. Cool tone shades is me um i just prefer it i just prefer, prefer it on my skin tone i've i'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today i used a mixture of i've used a mixture of go mutts then i darken it out with transformation and then i went into party on the lid and then i on top of that i went into disco on the lid and then in the inner corner bit i went into club and then for inner corner shimmer I went into dance floor. <clears throat> it's 
this palette so nice. I love the grey tone of it as well. I just love grey tone shadows. A bit boring, I know, but I just really like it and you can really wear it as an everyday wear and a glam wear. Party Pooches is my top favourite 2020 iHeart Revolution palette by far. Makes me want to get the other Pooches palette, definitely, and try that out. I really enjoyed this video. It's just me makes me look at all my collection let me know what other videos you'd like to see so yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these type of videos don't forget hit subscribe and turn the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out when i next upload thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye